project anywhere you like thanks to the built-in battery. Enjoy movie on lock screen every night. Come with Android 9 system with a lot of apps and games. Loaded with useful 4 point keystone correction. Fast and smooth wireless screen mirroring through 5 gig connection. Loaded with fast Bluetooth connection. It's speaker itself too. SPDRF and HDMI ARC audio output are supported. Interested? Let's have a closer look now. Hi guys, meet Imon H1 portable projector. Excellent build quality with sturdy plastic frame housing. Lovely retro design that you can't miss. Much smaller than the usual standard projector. Portable with around 1.3 kg in weight. Easy to carry around thanks to the handle. The main lens and LED light indicator are located in the front. The bottom part is IR receiver and air outlet. FYI, H1 is loaded with fully sealed optical puff, so no worries about dust anymore. Two 3 watt speakers are located on both left and right. There are dust filters inside those tiny holes. A lot of stuff is located at the back. The bottom part is air inlet, by the way. IR receiver, micro SD slot, audio output, AV input, USB port, HDMI ARC, LAN port, SPDRF, LED light indicator, and DC input. Attractive retro navigation buttons with mechanical blue switch on the top. And here is the manual focus ring adjustment. Five anti-skid pads are located at the bottom. And a standard camera mount hole in the middle. Lastly, here is the tiny stand that lets you adjust viewing height. As for accessories, this is the IR remote control. A small and handy one that does the job. For video input, the usual HDMI cable is there, followed by AV cable for older devices. Power adapter with US plug. It comes with a USB-C connector. Worldwide support as you can see. Finally, a multiple languages user manual with useful information. As usual, take your time to go through it. Alright, here are the H1 projection distance and size for your preference. Two hundred fifty NC lumens is okay for daylight usage. I'm projecting a fifty inch screen size with all lights turned on in my bedroom right now. Keep the screen as small as possible for the best experience. Here is 120-inch screen size in a totally dark room. Everything looks much better now. In addition, you don't need a big room to enjoy large screen with small troll ratio. 120-inch screen size from just 3 meters away from the wall.
the best part of a battery power projector. You can enjoy entertainment anywhere you like. You can also use it for work if you want, but you need to keep the screen as small as possible. Hooray! No calibration is needed. Out of the box. Emon H1 is loaded with an excellent 45% and the SC panel. The same one as 142 Max, I believe. In short, it has outstanding colors, contrast, and brightness. Nice and smooth image quality thanks to the anti analyzing filter. FYI, this applies to Android OS only. Text performance is excellent. You can use it to surf the internet or present PowerPoint to your group member during the work. Good enough for daylight usage as long as below 50 inch screen size. For extreme tests, H1 is performing excellently as well. Corners are sharp and in focus. However, Pro HDMI image decoding spoils the fun here. Android image processing is perfect, by the way. It is very handy to use H1 as portable media player. Just plug in USB hard drive will do. You can play almost every type of video format through software like Kodi. A lot of audio codecs are supported. Subtitle too. Photo viewing is as smooth as butter. Crips and detail. The built-in 6 watt speakers are great, loud and clear. Suitable for quiet room. Hear them yourself. Lastly, fan noise level is excellent. You won't hear fan noise at all during music or movie playback. 4K input and HDR decoding are supported, and a lot of refresh rates to select from. Video playback performance is the same between HDMI and Android OS. 24Hz and 50Hz are great and smooth. 60Hz is the best with perfectly smooth playback. Great for fast page action video, indeed. Emon H1 is loaded with MediaTek 5862. It's not powerful enough to play 4K contents. So this test video will play back through HDMI with external player. Again. It does not look as great as Android OS itself. Hopefully, the future firmware update will solve the HDMI image processing issue. Outstanding performance in this 4K 60p video. Perfectly smooth video playback is what you get. Fifty Hertz is performing very well too. 
Great Fall Pear Regions contains for sure. Meet Imon UI. Yes, H1 is loaded with their own launcher based on Android 9. Nice and simple design. I like it. Yes, Google Play Store is there for you and me. Feel free to download all the applications and games that you want. It also comes with their own app store, Emon Store. You might find something interesting there. By the way, you can turn H1 into a portable Bluetooth speaker or connect it to other Bluetooth speakers. FYI, the connection is fast and stable. H1 is loaded with lost 7800M rechargeable battery. It can play one and a half hours non-stop video. Do take note that the brightness is a lot dimmer on battery mode and requires around two and a half hours to fully charge. All right, let's have a look at the settings now. Everything is pretty much straightforward. First of all, Keystone. H1 supports real-time vertical Keystone correction. The zoom function is there, but does not reduce size much. Followed by 4-point Keystone correction. Great for those who need it. H1 supports OTA firmware update. This is the latest one for the moment. Yes, SPDIF optical audio output is supported. The same applies to HDMI ARC. Of course, CZ is working fine too. There are several picture modes to select. Just pick the one that suits you. Or customize each of the values there. Yes, there are RGB values adjustment in the color temperature. That's great. The usual projection modes. Useful when you need it. Several languages are there for you. English for me, as usual. Alright, here are the settings for HDMI input. FYI, picture mode is the same. Sound can be configured now. Take your time to play around with them. Let's have a look at the most common video app, YouTube. Emon H1 can play 1080x60 video flawlessly, but to make sure that it is AVC. VP9 is supported, but not smooth at all. Based on DRM info, H1 is loaded with MT5X62. Come with HDR10 and white wine. L1 support. Even with those, you can use Netflix for Android TV. 
tablet version which requires mouse is working though as expected 480p video playback only for non-Netflix certified devices Miracast is working perfectly smooth the response is excellent for wireless connection yes you can share photos and even cast video from your smartphone to the last screen easily H1 has 2x2 MIMO Wi-Fi 5 connection you can get around 90 Mac on the 2.4 gig band and around 230 Mac on the 5 gig band fast and stable connection the same applies to lens connection at 95 Mac as for gaming through HDMI port it does not look great 156 millisecond response time is what you get hopefully future firmware can fix it as usual pinball is used to test projector gaming ability perfectly smooth on the nintendo switch game console but the high input lag spoils the fun as expected This has been Trisha Tandanawa with the news. And now I will have my own post news review from my mom in her car. Yes, yes. Would you, uh, would you have dinner with me? That was beautiful. That's all for Emon H1 review. A nice portable for HD LCD projector with Android OS built-in. Suitable for both indoor and outdoor, thanks to the built-in battery. Interested? Please use my referral link below to shop. It will help me a lot. And do check out my top projector chart too. 
Don't forget to subscribe and thumb up. Thanks. I'm Jace. Glad to see you here. Peace.